In the bottom right hand of the map, we have our green Zerg player. It is none other than Otter. And in the top left, our Easter egg blue, aka Teal. Air <laughs> player. It is Spotosaurus. It really doesn't look very tealy, does it? No, it, it's it's that with the teal colors on. It's that very bright. Yeah, it's like Robin's egg blue. It's kind of interesting if you ask me. Like I, I do remember with Brood War that was very clearly teal, and also largely used for all of the hero units, as I recall. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they also used. I missed the actual white color. Mhm. Mm that for neutral units and stuff. That's right, plus Alpha Squadron in the very first StarCraft. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, Montasaurus is not wasting any time with this. He's going for a proxy barracks right off the bat. Looks like... This is pretty much the earliest edition of this. He's also grabbing gas. So this might just... Is he maybe proxy... going for a Reaper rush, potentially? Looks like. Proxy Reaper into the base, that'd be good. See exactly what's happening in uh, your opponent's base before they can sneakily underhand you. Now here's the thing, I know I know for a fact that Otter has been practicing a very macro-oriented style as Zerg as of recently, and this is more than likely going to be very effective unless Otter has actually practiced against this sort of thing. But um, you never know, I mean this is one of those things where even if you've never kind of done the response before, sometimes you can just sort of fumble your way into doing it correctly or the other guy will make a few specific, small errors, like everything matters when cheese is happening. Everything right. does. Yes, it does. You get supply block for three seconds. Those three seconds could cost you a unit, which could win you the game. Datagon, second barracks now. Yeah, this is pretty much the max production I think you can get out of this. Uh, the single gas. The, the really tricky part of this, though, is that he has no wall at home. So if at any point Otter's able to stabilize... Any number of links can kind of just kill everything. It, this is where it gets pretty rough. The first Reaper comes up here, and you're not worried at this point. It's a little annoying. I mean, you might lose a drone or two, but you're like, okay, I'm going to get my queen out, and then everything will be okay. And the problem is, he doesn't stop. It just keeps getting worse. Look at the disease that spreads. Yep. Continue. Build. Into the base. Drones continue to die. Looks like uh, he's actually cut himself off on production for a little bit. He will only have at max three uh, Reapers until the Supply Depot finishes. So that does give some breathing room here. But the thing is, Otter's already taken nine, ten, pro ten, uh, ten losses in workers, which is very unfortunate, as Montasaurus has actually kept his STV production up the vast majority of this. Without speed, as you can see, Lings can actually be kited by these things. It's pretty frustrating to deal with. But now that there's a ranged unit in play, uh, two isn't really going to be enough. Second ranged unit in play at the base down below low, low ground. And pretty much what Otter needs from here is to buy time. If she can stabilize, she can rebuild the drone count, everything will be fine. If this starts to snowball, there's no recovery. And with that many uh, Reapers, they can now attack the Queen. Second Reaper is going to come, uh, second Queen, sorry, is actually going to appear up here. And that may tip things over a little bit, as that DPS is no longer really quite capable of dealing with this. Big drone wave coming out in the back of it, though. So you think she'll be able to stabilize? It looks like it. Still two more Reapers, though. If they get in there, that's going to change everything, unfortunately. One of the Queens died. Working on replacing that. Six more Lings coming up really needs that now, though. Oh. Second queen goes down, there's no range for this now. Four Reapers poking away at the drone line. This is going to be a screen. Let's get us around. Got one of them. Got one low. He's regenning now. And looks like this is going to get more difficult. They focus on the drone. Oh, the finish. Yeah, got to put that outside of his vision. Otherwise, yeah, it's just... Pretty reasonable. He was actually grabbing expansion already, <laughs> so yeah, it would have been hard to catch up with that. Yeah, especially with the expansion, you can't leave your base, you can't expand, you keep losing drones. You just you're not gonna have a good backbone for that. 